What's up everybody, it's Demo with Demo Vapes. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. Tonight we're gonna be taking a look at the Squonker by Half Moon Mods. So yeah, I picked up this box in Dallas at the Vape Showcase, and so I just got back from that. Fantastic event, met lots of phenomenal people. I hope to be putting out a travel vlog soon enough. I don't know if I quite have enough footage for that, so uh, if that doesn't happen, then you know, I'll make a, I'll make a short video talking about my experiences there and uh, you know, maybe talking about vape, vape events in general. Um, you know, a lot of people don't get a chance to go to these and wonder what they're like, so I might uh, just put together a little video for that and shout out some people that I met and whatnot. So anyway, it's not about that. Tonight it's about this product. So yeah, so I picked this up at Vape Showcase and I went to the Half Moon Mods booth and I saw these sitting here and like the main dude at Half Moon Mods, Jeff Murphy, super, super nice guy, gave me a bunch of drip tips and uh, you know, generally an all around great dude. He showed this to me and I really, really took a look at it and thought, wow, this thing is really, really cool. So I picked one up and noticed that there weren't any videos out there on YouTube for it at all. So yeah, I decided to give you guys a little video for it. Alrighty, anyway, so up top on here, I've got the Apocalypse RDA with a matching drip tip. I do believe that these come with this box. I could be wrong about that, but mine did. So I'm assuming that yours will as well. But anyway, yeah, I've got an Apocalypse up top, 0.11, alien frame staple in there and uh, VTC 5A take it for a little rip So yeah, it hits really nice and hard. Uh, there are a couple little issues with it, but you know, we'll discuss that down in the close up. And I did just want to clarify, of course, this is a first impression. So, uh, you know, please don't take everything that I say as Bible or gospel or whatever you want to call it. I'm just kind of showing you guys this product for the first time and I've only had it for a few days. So I'm not going to put this video up and call it a review. Um, you know, I don't think that would be very honest for you guys. So we're going to take this down up close and I'll show you a lot more about the Squonker by Half Moon Mods. Alrighty everybody, here we have the Half Moon Mods Squonker. So yeah, this is another little single 18650 squonker. Again, as I said up top, this is a first impressions only and should not be taken as a review. Kind of just wanted to do a little show and tell. Anyway, what sets this apart from other squonkers in the category is the presence of all of this beautiful acrylic. Man, this stuff is gorgeous. The body as you see here is 6061 aluminum and high end acrylic. Looks very beautifully made. We have a nice smoked plastic door on the front that can be easily popped out. And inside, at first glance, we have what sort of looks like the standard inner workings of a mechanical squonk box, but there's a few interesting upgrades for this. This squonk mod comes with a lovely silicone bottle. This one is really nice and sort of in the middle of a lot of the silicone bottles out there. It's not too soft, so you know, when you go to put this in the mod, it doesn't just flop around and squish all the time. But it's also at the same time not too hard where you have trouble pressing it. It's kind of a happy medium. It's perfect, actually. You see right here, we have this wheel on the side. Now, there might be some information around there floating around on the internet that says that this is to adjust how stiff this button is. That is not the case. I've confirmed this with the guys from Half Moon Mods. This is not the case. This is just meant to uh, facilitate the locking down of this contact and make sure that it stays in the body very nice and secure. Anyway, as you can see, we have the standard mechanical squonk features here. We've got the contact that runs up here. Button pushes in on this on the 510 right there. And then the other contact is this little plate right here. Now, I just grabbed a battery that I had on hand real quick just to show you this. One thing you'll see right here is that this contact swings out. Now, very interesting, right? They sort of told me at the showcase in Dallas that this was so that you could put your battery right here against this contact and sort of swing it in all together as one unit. Um, you know, I'm not sure I really see the purpose in that, frankly, because to get it out, this is kind of a bitch. You can't really get in there with anything. To my knowledge, I don't have anything that can grab that. So to get it out, I still have to give the battery a good whack. And then honestly, to get it back in, it goes in there really nice and easily. I just slide it in there like that. So I don't really necessarily personally find myself using this at all. Uh, some other people might have a different experience, but I don't find myself using this at all. Popping that battery back out, you can see that this runs positive up, unlike most of these mechanical squonkers, which run positive down. On the front, we have a beautiful acrylic panel, and the button is a lovely acrylic with the Half Moon Mods logo right here. Now this is attached to the other side of this knob right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this apart for you guys to show you. But before I do that, just to show you, we have a spring-loaded 510 up on top. Pull this out and see if I can get it out without uh, 
squeezing too much juice. All right, that slid off very nice and easily. So we'll go ahead and unscrew this guy here. That comes off nice and easily. And then we're left with this plate right here. So now this pushes out. Sometimes a kind of a tough little guy right there at the end. Sometimes I actually kind of have to almost thread it off. But that comes out. Now, this button has an O-ring that this O-ring needs to be taken off in order to get this to come all the way out because that's locked in there. So rather than going through this whole song and dance with that, I don't have any tweezers up here or anything like that right now. Well, you know what? Let's go ahead and try it. You know what? I don't really want to mess with this uh, O-ring and mess it up and stuff like that. I've still got to do some testing on this. So understand that this comes out. Uh, maybe in my follow-up, I'll go ahead and take this fully apart for you guys. As it stands, that comes out and then this entire contact slides out like that. We've got heat shrink wrap right here on this end of the contact as well as that. This is really nice because it keeps your battery wraps from getting all torn up. I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in. Go ahead and line this up. Perfect, that's all reassembled. I'm gonna go ahead and put the squonk bottle back in. But before I do that, I do just wanna show you this. This switch, I've noticed, is extremely stiff. These contacts are made of aluminum as well, which is interesting. I haven't seen that before in a mechanical squonk. These contacts are pure raw aluminum. Well, pure, whatever. They're raw aluminum. That makes for a very stiff switch, but it also makes for a switch that sort of has this sound. I don't know if you can hear that. I'll go ahead and pull this up so you can hear it. Now, that sound is not only present audibly, but you can feel it. This button is super crunchy as it moves in, and I can feel that acrylic rubbing up against the housing. So this button is rubbing up against this housing or something along those lines. Makes for a very stiff switch and very hard to make full contact. Not only that, but sometimes it sort of sticks when I, put, when I pull out. So, I don't know. I mean, maybe you guys at Half Moon Mods might, might want to take a look at that. This definitely seems to be not the smoothest operation. All right, I'm gonna go stick this squonk bottle back in. Fairly easy to do. Real quick, I just wanted to show you guys the squonk bottle that this comes with. It comes with a lovely silicone bottle and it has this nice catch cup on top. So in case you do squeeze it out, um, you're gonna find that this juice just runs down and gets collects right in there. So it doesn't run all over your juice bottle and get into your mod if you have a minor little bit of leaking, if you're a little clumsy like I am sometimes. All right, perfect. We have the squonk bottle in there. I'm gonna go ahead and put an atomizer up top. Now I am pretty sure that you will receive this this way as well, but when I bought this squonk mod from Half Moon Mods at Vape Showcase, I did get this drip tip that came with with it for free. So my assumption is that they'll give you this tip to match your squonk mod. So that way there's this beautiful matchy matchy. I have the apocalypse up here on top tonight. And as such, I requested that they give me an apocalypse style drip tip. I don't have any information as to whether that is the case for you guys out there. My That would be a good assumption though. So if I find out some more information, obviously I'll put it down in the comments. So make sure to check back in the next couple weeks as I get more information and as we get closer to the launch date. Anyway, guys, that really about wraps it up. Not too much more to show you on this. And we're going to get back out to the top view and I'll vape it for you guys. All right, everybody. And that was the Squonker by Half Moon Mods. First of all, I know everyone's going to ask this gold chain right here. What is on it? This is the new Mi Pod system. And this is this video is not about this, but I decided I, you know, wear it around for you guys. So Anyway, review for this will be coming. So back to this device right here. Yeah, so as I said down in the up close, um, you know, it's a really nicely built little mod. The, the whole system here to get your battery out just doesn't really work that well for me. I mean, I can't really get into there. So honestly, I find still the classic squonk method of, you know, just kind of tapping it and banging your battery out works better. You know, this thing swings out and you can stick your battery up there and sort of slide it all in together. But, uh, you know, I don't know if I necessarily see the point in that. But, uh, you know what? Some of you guys might like to use it, so. But me personally, eh, not so much. The door on this box is nice and open. It's very easy to get your thumb. I've got big hands. Very easy to get my thumb in there and squeeze that bottle. Super, super simple. I really, really like this sort of, uh, you know, smoked door. I think that it makes it look really, really cool. And God, just take a look at this. I mean, it's just so beautiful. It's just a beautiful mod. Very well made. 
The one thing I didn't tell you guys down in the close-ups, I said it was the contacts were raw aluminum of some sort. You know, don't, you know, don't listen to me on that one. The contacts are aluminum and they are made of 3003 aluminum. The body is 6061, I think. Another huge pro right away that I find for this is that you can use 18650 batteries or 2060, uh, what, what the fuck is it called? 2065, 26. 50, yes, 2650 batteries, God. You can use 18650 or 2650 batteries in this and that makes it nice and versatile. I, uh, 2650s aren't really super available as of right now, but you know, I would have kind of, I guess like to see it with a 2700 option, but yeah, you know, it was not made for that. 2650 or 18650 compatible. Now, as I mentioned down in the up close, this button sometimes, not always, but sometimes, gives me that weird squinchy sort of crunchiness. And right now it's not doing it. I mean, listen, you know, it's a normal button right now, but uh, I don't know what changes, but every now and again, my button gets really crunchy and it gets really hard to push. So I don't, I don't really know. Maybe I don't have this contact screwed in there quite all the way. Oh no, I don't. Okay, that's why. Let's get that all nice and tight. Okay, well, I tightened that down and you know, that problem sort of vanished. It comes and goes, so I don't really know what goes into that weird crunchiness, but um, you know, you guys might run into that problem. Uh, I certainly have. I don't know whether this is a flaw with my particular device. So, you know, Jeff Murphy, if you're watching this, you know, please let me know. And uh, you know, if, if, if I need to send this back to you, if you guys want to take a look at it, you know, I'd be more than happy to. But other than that, it hits really nice and hard. And yeah, it's a single battery squonk and it works really well. And it looks beautiful. This is probably the most, one of the most beautiful single battery mech squonks next to one of my lazy vapor boxes. It's just a beautiful box. One other small niggle that I have is that this switch is very stiff and I'm, my assumption is that it's caused by both this little screw in here as well as this contact being made of aluminum, not, not quite a softer metal. So um, I do find myself having to really smash that button into the mod and the travel, you know, is fairly long. So the pro of that is that you're not gonna get this in your, you know, your pocket is not gonna be able to fire this mod without some crazy things happening in your pocket. So, and the button is flush. So unless something really pushes in there, I don't see any need for a locking mechanism or anything like that. But yeah, sometimes I do have to push it in there and sometimes it'll feel like it's all the way in, but I won't get any contact like, right there, like I feel it stop. That's not firing, but then if I really give it an extra push. I'm not gonna give it any sort of rating or would I buy it or would I not buy it as of right now. This is the first impression, so. But I just wanted to show this to you guys and I wanted to give you guys some pros and cons as I've noticed them so far. Anyway, guys, so yeah, that brings us to the price point on this. This box will be $180 retail. I purchased this with my own money at the Vape Showcase and I purchased mine for about $120. They were having some deals there for, you know, showcase attendees. So, you know, don't think that that's uh, any sort of compensation. That's just one of the deals that they give out to people who are attending the, the event. But anyway, as I said, $180 retail. It is machined and assembled in America, just north of Boston. So get a nice, beautiful American made product. This will be available in about two weeks and it will be available on halfmoonmods.com as well as in brick and mortars. It might be available in some other retailers, uh, you know, some other maybe online shops, but as of right now, they don't have any specifics on that, but you can get it at Half Moon Mods and it will be available in some brick and mortars. I'll probably be doing a follow-up. I know I always say I do, I'll do a follow-up and I usually never get around to doing follow-ups, but on this guy, I'm definitely gonna do a follow-up here. Um, I want some more information about this button thing. I don't know, right now it's working fine, but just, you know, as you saw in the up close, I showed it to you, I was getting this really weird crunchiness in the button. So definitely want to get some more information on that and um, yeah, use it a little bit more. And I'll come back and tell you guys my final thoughts, you know, maybe a week or two once it's available. Anyway, that is all I have for you guys tonight. Thank you so much for watching. Please take a moment to like, comment, and subscribe if you like this video. And yeah, that's that's really it, guys. Also, I now have a Twitter page. If you guys want to get some active updates on my you know testing of things, I'm gonna be posting there a lot. Um, I previously haven't really liked Twitter, but I don't know, I think that for me in this setting, I think it will work out a lot better to be able to post updates. So, you know, if you're interested in what I'm gonna be reviewing next or, you know, as I run into issues or things that I love about products, I will definitely be posting to Twitter on, you know, on the regular. So definitely go ahead and follow me on Twitter. It's at Demo Vapes. Give me a follow on Instagram too. Much appreciated. That's it. Demo out.